All right, welcome to Fairview High School in Fairview, Tennessee for the clash between the Nashville Christian Eagles and the Fairview High School Yellow Jackets. Fairview comes into this game with high hopes of putting this game away, and Nashville Christian comes in with the same idea. Both teams high in caliber, high in energy. So it should be a good up and down game with a lot of three-pointers thrown up in the air. This Fairview team, we've watched them all year, Kevin. They've come along at the beginning of the year. They're a group of young players learning how to play varsity basketball. They've improved all season. They've become very consistent, and they don't lack for effort. Starting lineups have been put on the floor, been announced. Officials are ready to throw the ball in the air. Eight-minute quarters, four of them, 32 minutes total. The lineups for you tonight, Natalie Stewart for Nashville Christian. Ashley Chambliss, Laurel Frazier, Tori Eulen, and Chandler Martin. For the Yellow Jackets, Carson Mullins, Chelsea Grishaber, Allison Nutt, Taylor King, and Trish Lancaster. Mullins with the ball dribbling around top. Passes down low, ball gets away. Saved by the Yellow Jackets. Grishauer picks the ball up back out to Mullins. Yellow Jackets being very cautious with this first possession of the game. Driving the ball down low is King. She may have gotten away with a walk there. Lancaster with the ball to Mullins. Swings to the left side. Grishauer with about a 17-footer, goes 19 feet. No good, Yellow, uh, Yellow Jackets on the miss. Nashville Christian bring the ball up the floor, throw the ball a little too high over the top of number 12, Natalie Stewart. Rosalind Mosley not in the lineup tonight. Doesn't even like she's just out for the game. I wonder if she's got an injury. Mullins drives the ball left-handed down low, gets the ball back out top, over to Lancaster in three-point line. Mullins at the top of the key, over to King. Surveys the opportunity, wasn't there, so Mullins again Taking the ball right side down the baseline, up and in. Very good play. Goes strong to the basket, lays it up nice and high, nice and soft. Brings down two for the Jackets. Yellow Jackets moving back into a 1-3 one, one, zone, it looks like. Yeah, they're doing a little bit of a matchup. Carson falls down with the cutter. Eulen driven around, driving around the top, past the right side, down low, blocked by Grishaber. Gets the rebound back, and that's Frazier, and then she's fouled by Mullins after getting the rebound. Grishaber overcommitted a little bit when they took it to the left side. They rotated the, back, the ball back around. She got beat to the spot a little bit. She tried real hard to get over there. She's just a little late. Frazier with her first toss, rims out. 6.34 left here in the first quarter. Yellow Jackets with an early 2-0 lead. Second toss, rattles, falls through the sack. Mullins gets the inbounds. Again, neither team coming out in the press like we thought they might. Both teams settling back into a zone. Well, it looks like they switched into a man-to-man. -man. Yeah, they came into a man, and uh, they're not giving Miss Nutt any room at all. And she has become the leader of this Fairview Yellow Jacket team. Well, it's to trigger the inbounds. Gets the ball inside to Nutt. Nutt back out to Lancaster. King flashes down, gets it to Nutt, Nutt up, no good. Grishaber gets the position, but the ball is tapped away by Nashville Christian. Equals number 0-0, Chandler Martin bring the ball up the floor, looking over the Yellow Jacket zone. Another drive down low, blocked from behind by King. Another rebound, picked back up, three blocks, four <laughs> blocks. Nashville Christian finally gets the ball out for a three. It's up and it's good. Watch it. Good defensive intensity, blocked the ball four times, just couldn't come away with it, and that just has to break your back. You see a three-pointer come down. Two possessions, the Yellow Jackets have four blocked shots early, but they trail four to two. Flash down low to Nutt, Nutt drives left-handed up and off the glass, a little too strong, no good, ball rolling around, finally picked up by Nashville Christians. Number zero, zero, Martin. Nashville Christians seeming to get the hustle play so far, Kevin. They're getting the loose balls, they're getting the rebounds. Yellow Jackets tie the ball up, alternate possession to the Eagles. 
A lot of action early. Clock under 520 here in the first, first quarter. Ball down low, flashes down the lane. It's up and it's no good. Great execution, just doesn't fall. Lancaster driving the ball up the floor. Stops with a dribble, gets it outside to Nutt. Mullins with the ball, kind of taking her time. Clock under five minutes, trailing by two points. Looks to try to drive, doesn't have it. Lancaster from the top of the key for three. Bottom! Sweet. It's down the sack. Soft touch, nothing but net. Great setup that time. Lancaster flashed to the top from about 21 feet. She just threw it right in the hole. Lancaster pretty aggressive out on the wing there. The right side driving again is number 21 for the Nashville Christian Eagles. Frazier unable to convert there. Driving down the lane is uh, Mullins, and it's up and in. So the Yellow Jackets come back with five straight points to take a three-point lead, seven to four. Clock hitting the halfway point of the first quarter. Nashville Christian got into oh. no man's land right there, but got saved with the uh, bad pass by the Yellow Jackets. Eulen this time forces the pass and is picked up by Frazier. Frazier tonight definitely has been the aggressor on the right side, driving the ball down the lane. This zone defense to running looks a little bit like a 1-2-2, two, two, but then when they fall back, it looks like a 1-3-1. One, one. I know, it, it's uh, it, it's hard to uh, diagnose, which that means if, if we can't tell what it is up here, hopefully the kids on the floor can't tell what it is either that's playing against it. <laughs> it seems to be confusing Nashville Christian so far. They've only got one made field uh, field goal. The other one is a free throw. And Fairview, both teams are executing a little bit. Fairview a little bit better. They're just not getting the ball to drop. Only one foul called in the game under four minutes. Tim, I remember one game we called with the guys out here that had um, 42 fouls, and that's just in the second half. Yeah. Is that, okay? that was the last one. That was the game started out so well. The second half became a became a shot up and away. Almost affair. goes in for a potential three point play. Rims out. Hewlin will go to the line for two shots. Foul against King for the Yellow Jackets. Hewlin's first toss up off the right side of the rim, rolls away. Seven to four, Yellow Jackets lead. Three, three, three left here in the first quarter. Second toss up and it's right through the sack. Seven, five, Yellow Jackets with the lead. No pressure in the backcourt. So Mullins will just take her time dribbling it across the center circle. Looking over a one, two, two. Actually, they break out into a man-to-man. -man. They did. They fell into a man-to-man, -man and they're chasing. Yellow Jackets get a little careless. Try to bounce pass inside. Not there. Ball rolls away. Turnover, Yellow Jackets, 7-5 lead. Martin with a three-pointer of the game. Handles the ball, brings it across. Gets it out to Hewlin. Hewlin back to... Martin over to the left side, shot up and in, tie ball game. That's Hewlin putting it up and in. So she ran around a couple of picks and got open for a, for a nice little 16-footer. That's the second three-pointer of the quarter. Lancaster outside of the three-point line, gets it down low right around the uh, free, foot, free throw lane. Chelsea Grishover throws it up off the glass. Game of horse, she wouldn't have been able to count that one. The game of basketball in high school, it's good. 9-7 lead. I'm sure she meant to do that. I think so. Good defense there by the Yellow Jackets. Nashville Grisha tries to drive. Lancaster with her second takeaway tonight. Gets the ball to Grishaver, back out to Nutt. Nutt pushing the ball against the man defense. Knocked away by Nashville Christian. Out of bounds, 157 left. Yellow Jackets leading 
Jackets get the ball back. They had a good baseline trap. And the other defender, they, they filled the passing lane, picked up a good turnover. Smart play by the Fairview Jacket defense. Moore and Purvis in the game, replacing King and Lancaster. Down low to Nutt. 12-footer, shot up off the back rim. Rebound, Yellow Jackets, and it's up and in. Christiana Purvis with a rebound and the putback. Yellow Jackets coming back with their patented full court press. Playing good, solid D this time, putting tons of pressure. Nashville Christian picks the ball up. Coach Warning travel on that one, not able to get it. Pushed down the lane and it's no good and it looks like it may be a foul on Danny Moore. Carson had that left hand just riding on her back just a little bit. A little bit of a touch foul. They're calling that on Mullins. That's gonna be her second foul. Shot up by Martin. Back of the rim, no good on the free throw. Yellow Jackets with a four point lead, first quarter. That was one of those fouls that, that probably looked more like a foul than it was. Anticipation foul, as we used to call it. Right. Nut dribbling up with her left hand. Gets the ball to Mullins out to the top, over to, side, over to the right side to Purvis. Purvis tries to get the ball down low to Moore. Knocked away by the Eagles, number 25, and that's Tori Hewlin batting the ball away. Both teams playing great team defense. Mullen gets the inbounds pass out to Purvis, down low to Nutt. Nutt drives the left side, up with the right hand off the glass, no good, but she's fouled by the number 21, Laurel Frazier of the Eagles. At the line for two, Allison Nutt. They're making her work for everything tonight. They're playing some tough defense on her. Toss up, front of the rim, back of the rim, glass, net. 12-7, Yellow Jackets, 1-11 left here in the first quarter. Second toss up off the back of the rim, no good. Fighting for the loose ball is Yellow Jackets, number 14, Purvis. Be taken away by Martin of the Nashville Christian Eagles. Pass out to the right side again, driving down the lane is number 21 for the Eagles. Not able to convert this time. Danny Moore picks up the rebound, pushes the ball, didn't have anything, gets it outside the nut, over to Mullins, cross. Outside to Purvis. Purvis almost throws the ball away, saved by the Yellow Jackets. Nut. Allison gets the ball outside to Mullins. Looks it over. Little misdirection. Set screen inside, gets the ball outside. This time, Grishaver's gonna drive. Doesn't have anything, pulls it back out. Danny Moore gets it over to Purvis. She drives down low, 15-footer up, and it's in. Nice Four team points. patience. Four points for Purvis off the bench. 15 seconds left. Yellow Jackets leading 14 to seven. Martin driving the ball under 10. Travels with the ball. Yellow Jackets will have a chance. 6.9 seconds left in the game. It's gonna be Taylor King coming this time in for Miss Mullins, who's played a fabulous first quarter. Seven hey. seconds left. Yellow Jackets gonna have to push it. Allison Nutt takes it. 25 feet away, throws it up off the glass, almost into the basket, rebound up, and rims out. I'm not sure it being good, but it was a great offensive possession that time by the Yellow Jackets. End of one, 14 to seven, Tim. Good first quarter, both teams playing hard, playing very good defense. Fairview's last offensive set just prior to this one, great offensive set, great patience. I counted five passes, there may have been more, resulted in a nice little 12 foot jumper. Well, after eight minutes are in the books, it's 14 for the homestanding Yellow Jackets and seven for the visiting Nashville Christian Eagles. West Nashville is where they are based, right off of Charlotte Pike, Sawyer Brown Road, so it's not very far to drive down to play against the homestanding Yellow Jackets. Looks like a pretty good matchup tonight, Kevin. If both teams seem to be pretty, pretty consistent in their sizes and their matchups. And we're seeing the, the results of that. A lot of good defense and uh, both teams showing real good hustle. Good hustle, you're right. First half of the game, both teams went at it pretty darn quickly. And out, out of the gate, you could tell Laurel Frazier was gonna be very aggressive for the Eagles, driving down to the right side and also down the center of the lane.
Yellow Jackets with the change of possession to start the second quarter. Christiana Purvis with the ball, tries to get it inside to Grishaber. Miscommunication that time, ball goes out of bounds. Turnover, Yellow Jackets, seven point lead. And as for Christian, dribbling the ball across the center court. Martin's picked up by Purvis. Gets the ball out to the left side by Hewlin. Drives around right hand, gets the ball down inside. That was a great give and go that time. Number 12, Natalie Stewart puts it in off the glass. Cuts the lead to five. Lancaster back in the game to start the second quarter. Takes about a 22-foot three off the front of the rim. No good. Picked up by Taylor King in, and it's good. Spect a seven-point lead. That was a professional link three-pointer. She almost knocked it down. Yes, she did. It's right on target, just a tad short. It's perfectly short right to Taylor King. Frazier gets the ball out for a three-pointer up and away off the rim, no good. Initially picked up by the Eagles, scrapping for the ball. Frazier comes away with it. Martin now with the ball. Guarded closely by Purvis. Driving down the lane. Didn't have anything shot up and away, no good. Knocked out of bounds by the Yellow Jackets. That time over the back, knocking the ball away from the Yellow Jackets is Ashley Chambliss, number 52. Ball in, Euling gets it, drives with the left hand, didn't have anything, kicks it out to Frazier. Frazier drives, gets it up off the glass, and she's fouled by number 12, Lancaster. That time Trish almost got there, but was moving on the drive. Therefore, Frazier is going to go to the line for two more. She has an interesting looking shot. Kind of takes it onto her left shoulder, on her right shoulder, cocks it back there, and throws it up. Neither one of them go in. Rebound, Taylor King. That, is, that was a unique looking shot, you're right. Uh, you know, I, I didn't notice that earlier. It's really unconventional. Purvis dribbling the ball around top. Didn't have anything, gets the ball at the Lancaster, gets the screen, drives the ball down inside the free throw line, up and in. Lancaster playing tough, putting the ball in the hoop tonight, 18-9. No soft to nine. touch. Soft touch, gets the gift that to the rim. The shooter's roll, no doubt about that. That's right. Martin takes her dribble and it stops. Gets the ball out to Stewart, Stewart back out. For a three that's up off the front of the rim, back of the rim, no good. Grishaber with a rebound. Gets the ball over to Nutt. Nutt's going to bring the ball up the floor with three Yellow Jackets trailing. Purvis for a three straight away. It's on line. It's Ooh. a little long. Kicked out of bounds by Nashville Christian. Tim, we had the angle on that one. It was dead on line all the way, just a tad hard. I thought, it, yeah, I thought it was in. I thought, well, it's got a lot of oomph on it. But it was, it was right on line. Timeout, and, Yellow Jackets. And on this last defensive possession, Fairview played great defense, and that girl still almost knocked down the three. She was in her face, got the hand up. You just want that. That'll, that'll help late in the game. Yeah, Chandler Martin had the three on the other end for Nashville Christian, Tim, as you said, and, and the Yellow Jackets were right there, and she got it over the outstretched arms, and that darn thing almost went in, hit yeah. the front of the rim. Probably a good inch away, but that, that inch of hitting the rim was a little too much. Yeah. Had it gone in, I was going to say she earned that one because yeah. – Fairview did just about everything you could on defense on that besides Fowler. No question. After the 20-second timeout, Yellow Jackets to throw the ball in underneath their own basket. Stack throw in, gets the ball to Lancaster. Ball knocked away like it's knocked away by Martin of Nashville Christian. Yellow Jackets retain possession of the ball this time to the left side of the goal. Trying to get the ball inside to King. They do. King up and in. Off the glass. No good. Gets her own rebound. Fighting the ball. Slaps at the ball. No foul called. Could have very easily been a foul call that time on Miss King. Yeah, twice. She's, she got her own arm twice. I think she's a little frustrated. Got the ball inside and just couldn't put it in the hole. End of the game for Nashville Christian is Dotson, number 10. Ashley Dotson gets the ball out with a left-hand pass to Hewlin. Hewlin drives around the yellow, the uh, Fairview Yellow Jackets defense. Gets hit, no foul called. Lancaster oh. catches the ball, puts it up and in. 
We are on the uh, National Christian side of the floor calling the game, and a couple of parents were not real happy that there was no foul call on one end, no travel call on the other, and they may have had a point. Yeah, that, that uh, uh, yeah, I think they had a good point. Yellow Jackets gets the turnover, and one thing you can say for certain, this officiating crew is letting them play. Yellow Jackets with an 11-point lead, 20 to 9. 430 and counting down here in the second stanza. Shot up and away by King, no good. I think maybe they heard you mention that 42 foul fest uh, <laughs> we had the last time we were out, and they didn't want any part of that. Well, I tell you what, that was a long night. You like watching high school basketball, but not win the last 12 minutes of the game. Nothing is scored except for free throws. Pass down low, Yellow, Yellow Jackets, good defense that time. Nashville Christian not able to get anything away. Hewling gets the ball, goes up, and she's fouled by Grishauber. That time, Chelsea just got a little bit of the arm, knocked the ball away, foul. So halfway through the second quarter, at the free throw line is going to be Tori Hewlin, number 25. Fairview's overplaying the wing, and they're coming down and they're fronting down to the baseline. So that's a good cut to the basket by the point guard. Hewlin's first toss is up and in. A couple of subs in the game for Nashville Christian. Number 12 back in the game, Natalie Stewart. She has one basket on the evening. Also back in the game is Frazier, number 21. Second toss up and away, and it's also good by Hewlin. <laughs> Mullins with the dribble, passes to the right side, Nutt. Nutt tries to bounce pass inside, ball kicked away. 349 left here in the second quarter. Yellow Jackets with a nine point lead, 20 to 11. Mullins flashing to try to get the ball on the inbounds but the ball was knocked away by Stewart, picked up by Nashville Christian. Keelan's gonna run the point. Martin's been running the point, but she's taking a breather at this point. She's picked up by Danny Moore. Moore gets away probably with a reach in. Ball thrown too hard, down low, out of bounds. Turnover, Nashville Christian. A little bit too much pepper, but it's a great idea. She was breaking free for a shot at the layup. Marcel Smith, that time with the um, was trying to be the recipient of the pass. Unfortunately, was not able to pick it up for the Eagles, so there's a turnover. Pass down low, this time kicked away by Nashville Christian. Frazier with the kick away. Yellow Jackets, Lancaster to bring it in left. Left side, shot up, no good. Lancaster with the air ball, puts it back up and in for two. Yellow Jackets have doubled the score, 22 to 11. 312 left here in the first half of the basketball game from Fairview, Tennessee. Soft pass inside for a layup. That's what I'll call that one. Heelan dribbled the ball around top. Bounce pass inside Stewart. Stewart back out to Heelan. Heelan's looking at the three, throws it up, and it's off the rim, no good. That was almost a great shot. We've got a jump ball. It's going to be possession arrows facing the Eagles. Dotson to bring the ball inside. Tries to throw it down low, knocked out of bounds by the, by the Fairview Yellow Jackets. Stewart tried to get position, wasn't able to get there quick enough. King knocked the ball out. Amy Mangrum also in the game for the Yellow Jackets, number 42. Pass inside, Stewart. Stewart bounce passes out, bounce pass outside. Hewlin picks the ball up. Kind of hit her in the hands a little harder than she expected. She drives down low. Oh. Good hard drive. Yellow Jackets foul her. <laughs> it's going to be Lancaster on the foul. I believe that's going to be her second of the evening. Carson got away with riding her pretty good with the <laughs> arm. I'm surprised they didn't call that foul. Feeling back to the line where she just made two a moment ago. This time off the left rim. No good. Back into the game is 52 Chambliss and Number 0, zero Martin, replacing Smith and Dotson. 22-11, Yellow Jackets, 2.41 left here in the first half. 22-12 now. Yellow Jackets bring Grishaber and Purvis back into the game, replacing Mangrum and Lancaster. 
Lancaster sits down with her second foul. Danny Moore is going to run the point, at least on this possession. Bounce pass outside Purvis. Tried to go down low to King, but King was picked up quickly. Purvis tried to throw the ball again, got knocked away. Yellow Jackets pick it up, and finally, Danny Moore brings it out top. Just hustled harder for the ball. Three-pointer way up and no good by, by Nutt. Nutt flashes after the ball, picked up by Danny Moore, driving down low amongst the, amongst the trees, and she's fouled. Game getting a little rough out there. Bodies are flying. That's just pretty tremendous hustle right there by, by Danny Moore. She just was not going to be denied of putting that ball up toward the basket. Free throw attempt up and off, no good. But uh, <laughs> that was fun to watch. Second toss up, off the rim, no good. She misses them both after all that. Hewlin driving the ball, right hand down the lane. Puts the ball up, no good. This time, rebound by Nutt for the Yellow Jackets. Picked up by Hewlin, right across center court. Looks like we've got some kind of zone being played this time. They're definitely Nutt gets man the ball, on Allison. Taken away from her this time. Stewart Whoa. drives right past Chelsea Grishaver. Grishaver is able to affect it. Ball knocked away by Hewlin, back out to Stewart. Stewart up and in. We talked about the hustle on one end of the floor by Danny Moore. Stewart and Hewlin on the other end reciprocated. I've never seen anybody dribble the ball faster than someone else can run without the ball, and we just saw it. Yeah. Stewart took the ball and just drove right past Chelsea Grishaber, left-handed dribble, and just flew right by her. I'm surprised was able to get to the basket as quick as she was. Didn't make it, but then she hustled and hustled and fought and finally took the ball away and got it back out to Hewlin, who put it up and in. Yeah, Hewlin's got a lot of basketball smart. She watched her on the court. She knows where to be on the court. She seems to have an instinct for where the ball is going to be. She's made several good plays tonight. So it's only been two fouls called this evening against Nashville Christian. Six fouls called against the Yellow Jackets. Neither team in the bonus. 126 left. First half from Fairview, Tennessee. And that's for Christian Eagles against the Fairview High School Yellow Jackets. King looks at a possible three, doesn't take it, gets it down low, and a drive left-handed in off the glass. Good by Nutt. Allison just took it strong, Tim, and just said she's not going to be denied. She's got the complete package. She's got the jumper. She can dribble. She can go inside if she has to. She's another great basketball player for the Jacks. This team's going to be really strong next year. I mean, not that they're not already strong this year, but they definitely have everybody coming back for the 09-2010 season. Freshman Danny Moore bring the ball across the line. They may hold for the last shot unless they find something wide open. Bounce pass out left side, Nutt. Nutt finding a flashing King. King gets the ball down low, Nutt. Nutt tries to get it in off the glass, no good. She's fouled by Hewlin. She's going to go to the line for two. Hewlin and Nutt have a real good matchup going. you got two good basketball players playing at both ends. That time, Allison gets the best of it. Two shots forthcoming. 35.8 seconds left here in the first half. Back room, no good. Both teams struggling tonight from the free throw stripe. They must not make you run lines anymore when you miss free throws. Must not. Used to be a lot of running, as I recall. Yeah. Not that I would know anything about that. Martin dribbling the ball around, trailing by 10. Now going under 20 seconds left here in the first half. Martin picks it up, gets the ball down low. Good pass. Not able to convert. Rebound back up by Nashville Christian. Danny Moore gets the rebound. Smallest player on the floor. Pulls away. Gets the ball out to Nutt. Nutt for three from the left side. No good. Follows her own shot. No good. Down low, Stewart catches it, puts it up, and it's no good. Just a little too late. At the end of one half, the Fairview High School 
Yellow Jackets 24, Nashville Christian visiting Eagles 14. Fairview does a great job of knocking down shots that second quarter, Kevin. That was the difference. They came alive, got inside, made uh, converted on some shots, they hit some outside shots, and they continued to play that tenacious defense. Well, we'll be back for the second half in about 10 minutes. Enjoy <laughs> halftime. Ready to start the second half. Yellow Jackets leading 24-14. Mullins back in, running the point. Two fouls picked up in the first half. Nutt with the ball now on the right side. Drives the lane, gets past the free throw line, tries to bounce pass over to Mullins. Mullins barely able to get the ball back outside to Grishaber. Grishaber kind of getting a good handle on the ball. All the control back out through the hands of Nutt back out to Mullins now, as you can see. Mullins looking against Martin, what she's going to do. Yellow Jackets with the lead, gets the ball out to the top of the key for a three-point basket, and it's good. Did you see that double screen up top for, for Lancaster? That's when you know the shooter's got the touch. Well, they certainly set the, the picks that time, roll it away, and Lancaster took the shot and hit nothing but the sack. Martin struggling with the ball right now against the Fairview defense. 13-point lead by the Yellow Jackets. Driving is Frazier. Frazier bounce passes to Stewart. Stewart out to Martin for a three. Shot up and in. Tell you what, she's got a good-looking shot. That's two threes she's made tonight. 10-point lead now, Yellow Jackets. The one she missed, we thought, was in from the top of the key. Yeah, Carson Mullins comes over, plays good defense, gets a hand up, she still drains it. While you're watching the action, Tricasters for the Knights game. Chris Sharver gets the ball down low, puts it in off the bas basket, no good. Yellow Jackets with a rebound. Tricasters for tonight's game is Martin Binkland, McLaren Jones. As we're talking about that, Nashville Christian takes the ball away, drives the ball down to the right side, up and in. They've cut the uh, from 15 or 13 down to eight in two trips. Hewlin comes down, makes him pay. When we get the next time out, we'll give you all the production team names that's responsible for bringing you the game tonight. Allison Nutt drives the middle of the lane, gets it in off the glass, no good. Picked up by Martin. Martin goes inside and grabs the ball. Guarded from Mullins, drives down lane, gets it up in off the glass, and it's good. Right now, the Mo momentum has definitely gone the way of Nashville Christian on the last three possessions. Fairview defense makes a critical mistake that time. You've got to stop the ball when you come down with numbers against you. They all stayed back. She came to the basket, had to commit, left the, left the tall girl open for a layup. Chambliss with that basket on the last trip, assist Martin. Yellow Jackets getting that open on the left wing. No good. Driving the baseline as Lancaster goes in, makes her presence known. No good. Taylor King gets the ball, finally is going to be called for traveling. It could have been three seconds or traveling that time against the Yellow Jackets. Nashville Christian has turned the momentum their way. That three-point basket by Martin has seemed to set the stage for a comeback here for Nashville Christian. Fairview starts the quarter, one of five. Martin gets the ball outside to Frazier. She drives down low, not able to get, a, get the ball inside to number 52, which is Ashley Chambliss. Kicked or is away by the Elders. Tall girl. Yeah, that's the tall girl you were talking about <laughs> earlier. She is the tallest one on the floor, no doubt. Tries to force the ball down low, picked up by Lancaster. Lancaster kept her foot down, no call. Out top, King. King drives right hand, jump stop, keeps her pivot foot. To Nutt, Nutt drives, right hand shot up, no good. Ball comes right back to her. She puts it up and in. Eight point lead this time, Yellow Jackets. The officials, no doubt, are letting this game be played on both ends of the floor by both teams. At Fairview at converts their second shot, just their second shot this quarter. It was on a hustle play by uh, Ashley, or Allison Nutt. And while we have a full timeout here, this is our first opportunity to bring to you all the players tonight that's sitting behind the camera making all this stuff happen for you. Tricasters, Martin Binkley and McLaren Jones, Sean Franks, Matt Thompson, Ian Wachina, Evan, Ivan Wachina, Steven Anderson, Ryan Richards, Allie Beard, 
and J.J. Hughes, all responsible for bringing you the game tonight, all under the tutelage of Mr. Bob King, Fairview High School production manager. Calling the game tonight, I guess we'll give you the, the lowdown on who we are. Uh, Kevin Anderson and Tim French having a blast behind the, the mics. And uh, always a lot of fun for me, Tim, to work with you. And it's a blessing to be able to come out to Fairview and or come out to the, the games here in Fairview and, and do this. It's just I always enjoy it, uh, have a great time coming out. It gives us something to do. But I cannot believe the season is just the regular season is almost over. It is. I mean, it's crazy. By the time this season's over with, we'll probably have another trillion dollars spent. Left-hand dribble by Martin, gets the ball out to Hewlin. Hewlin drives to the middle, top of the key, out to Frazier. Frazier with the awkward-looking shot up and in. She cocks it from the right side, but it is in the sack. Got the lead now down to five points. That's the closest they've been since the first quarter. We'll see how Fairview reacts to this run by the Nashville Christian team. Lancaster almost travels with the ball. Drives down the middle as Mullins. Mullins comes over the back, no call. But well, she got fouled on her shot, so there were two fouls missed on that one. They are letting the play. No foul yet called halfway through the third quarter. Martin dribbling with her left hand. Finds a flashing Hewlin down the middle. She puts it up from inside and it's no good. Hewlin tries to jump after the ball and knock it back in. Unfortunately, not able to do so for the, for the Eagles. Fairview Rolls overplaying, Hewlin goes back door, great cut. Fairview hustles back, she can't convert on the layup. Mullins looks over to the sideline, get the play for the coach. Rich Arbor, outside three point line, doesn't take it. Purvis, Danny Moore in the game now for the Yellow Jackets. Danny Moore with great hustle there in the first half, not able to score. Tremendous hustle. Flashing the lane that time as Mullins not able to get the pass. That switches hands between the leg dribble. Down low this time Mullins, she gets it outside to Moore. Moore dribbling it, doesn't have anything. Chris Schaubert kind of pivots on her foot outside to Purvis, Purvis shot was up, no good. Yellow Jackets are just fighting like crazy after each of the balls, and this time they're going to give the ball back over to Nashville Christian. But you know what? They just were getting position that time and getting inside the Eagles. They're getting shots. They just can't convert. They're getting good shots, too. Ball out to Hewlin. Puts the ball up, no good. Frazier tried to get the rebound for Nashville Christian. Ball taken away by the freshman Purvis. Christiana gets the ball over to Allison Nutt. Allison Nutt now guarded closely on the baseline. Gets the ball out to, to uh, Chelsea Grishaber. Carson Flash Mullins. down low, Grishaber after making the pass. Shot up off too hard and too short off the backboard. No good. It's going to be a charge this time. Danny Moore gets position. And um, I was surprised that they saw that. But Stewart that time threw her leg or threw her hip into the Fairview player, Danny Moore. Moore throws the ball inside, ball shot up in the short. Taken away by Moore, Moore puts it up and it's no good. I'm gonna tell you what, she's a water bug in there, Tim. A lot of hustle out there, Allison Nutt fouled. Flager got, got, got her hand hit on that shot. Shot come up short, Danny Moore hustling in there, picking it up. Definitely like a little water bug. This free throw up, rolls around, and goes through her first point of the evening. Two fouls now on Nashville Christian in this quarter. Lancaster in the game for Allison Nutt, giving her a little rest here for the stretch run in the fourth quarter. Danny Moore makes both. The Yellow Jackets go into the full court press. Stewart with the ball. Stewart earlier, Tim, as you were talking about, was dribbling the ball faster than the Yellow Jackets were running up the floor. Ball out to Martin. She's got a lane. She drives down low, puts it up off the glass and in. Back to a five-point Fairview Yellow Jacket lead. That is what you call a hustle on both ends of the floor by both teams. Rich Iver with the ball down for her. Almost walks, keeps her pivot foot down. Danny Moore passes out to her fellow freshman, Purvis. 
Mullins, another freshman with the ball, dribbling out top, gets the ball over to Lancaster. Lancaster dribbling with her left hand, tries to get it down low, taken away by Nashville Christian. Hewlin dribbling the ball up the floor with her right hand this time. She sees a little bit of a lane. She pulls up, pops, and stops and pops. No good. Ball picked up by Nashville Christian. Shot not able to go down that time. 115 left here in the first quarter. Of the, well, actually, the third quarter, first quarter of the second half. Shot that time up and away by Grishover. Blocked away by number 52, and that's Ashley Chambliss. Like to see Grishover take that, put that ball on the floor one more time, get in close so she can use her strength to put that ball up and in for a potential three-pointer. They backed off of Danny Moore. She may have thought about putting it up, but she gets it inside to Purvis. Christiana gets the ball up off the glass in the basket off the backboard. Good. Yellow Jackets now with a seven-point lead, under a minute left in the third quarter. Second time tonight, Purvis has made a nice cut to the basket, resulting in a two for the Yellow Jackets. Eulin shot up and away for three, no good. Picked up by Frazier. Frazier drives down low, shot up with the right hand, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it back up off the glass, off the rim, no good. But she's fouled that time by number 22, Chelsea Grishaber. That's the first foul on the Yellow Jackets of the second half. Again, the unorthodox looking shot up and nothing but the sack. Six point lead. Both teams played hard in the first half, but this third quarter, they've ratcheted up the intensity even more. Good game to watch tonight here in Fairview. Frazier with a second shot. Eyes the basket. Puts it up and in. Tim, I tell you, it, it works. Say what you want, but it, she's made a three, and she scored several points tonight, and she can certainly handle the ball. She's a driver of the basketball, no doubt about it. Purvis, who's also been playing very well for the Yellow Jackets, with the ball out front, guarded closely, gets the ball over to Mullins, back out top to Allison Nutt, who was out just for a moment, catching a breath. Under 15 seconds left here in the third quarter. The Yellow Jackets going to hold for one. Now at eight seconds. She needs to make the move to the basket. They're going to try to drive here around four. Nutt takes the inside, spin moves, free throw line, shot up off the back of the glass, no good. Picked up by Nashville Christian. So Nashville Christian holds, and Nashville Christian will get the ball on the alternate possession to start the fourth quarter, down by five. I tell you, with, with uh, Allison's, Allison Nutt's matchup, I would have really liked to have seen her and Carson run a little bit of a two-man game with Allison down on the block. Uh, she can take that girl inside, and uh, if, if they collapse on her, kick it out to Carson, Carson, we know, will take that ball of the hole aggressively, Absolutely. and she closes the deal. Tim, we're ready to start here. Eight minutes left in the basketball game, and it's been a good one. Five-point game between the Nashville Christian Eagles and the homestanding Yellow Jackets. And Nashville Christian mounts a furious comeback in that third quarter, puts that lead to five. Hewlin that time dribbled a little too deep and didn't have nothing to do with the ball, and Lancaster was right there to take the ball away from her. Lancaster tonight's probably been the MVP for the Yellow Jackets offensively and defensively. Grish Harbor looking to get the ball down low. She does to Nutt. Nutt takes the shot up and puts it in left-handed off the glass. That was a spectacular little move there. Allison Nutt goes down bat, goes down low, takes it to the hole, converts for two. Back to a seven-point lead, 7.20 and counting down. Hewlin drives, doesn't have anything, moves pivot feet outside to the hot shooting Martin, and Martin Tim does nothing but throw the ball in the hole every time she gets a chance. 
That was a pretty shot. Four-point game, Yellow Jackets. Fairview not getting as close to those three-point shooters this half as they were the first half. The first half, they were all up under them, had their hands in the face. This, this half, they've got a couple open shots. That was a good pass that time. Chelsea Grishaber gets the ball down low. Allison Nutt gets behind the defender, had a free lane to the basket, laid it up in off the glass. As long as Allison Nutt has that matchup, I'd park her down low for the rest of the game. Yep, they I think can't she, stop her. She'd get the shot every time as far as I was concerned. This time the shot up and away by the Eagles is no good. A couple of rebounds, both of them blocked that time by the Yellow Jackets, no call. Allison Nutt driving the lane and she's gonna run right over. I believe it's gonna be a charge and it is. Charge on Nutt. That time, perfect position by Martin for Nashville Christian, and it is a charge, no question about it. Good hustle, good position, both teams. But Chandler Martin got right underneath Allison Nutt that time to draw the first foul of the game on Allison. That was a big swing. Fairview had the numbers. Could have ended up with a layup, opened it up to eight points. Martin bring the ball up the floor. Gets the ball outside to Hewlin. Hewlin now over to Stewart. Stewart passes the ball outside. Shot up and away is blocked by the Yellow Jackets. It's about their eighth block of the night. Picked up by Allison Nutt again. Driving with her left hand as she's going to be mugged going down the floor on the left side. And the this, foul is called. This game is physical. If we went from that 42 foul fiasco in this game, they are letting them play. They certainly are. I hope they do the same thing in the boys game later. Nutt with the ball, six point lead, Yellow Jackets, 5.50 left in the basketball game. Mullins back over to Nutt, about 21 feet from the basket, right side. Lancaster out top, thinks about the three, says, no, I'm not gonna think about it anymore, I'm gonna oh. take it. Mullins gets the rebound, fights for it. Grishaber gets the rebound again, puts it up, oh, no oh. good. It was halfway down the cylinder and it bounced out. Fairview gets three shots, comes away empty. 37-31. This time, again, the Eagles look for the opportunity. Pass out top to Martin. Martin didn't like the opportunity. Gets it outside to Hewlin. Hewlin takes the shot off the front of the rim. It was dead on line, just a tad short. The way Martin's taking it, I'd be wanting her to take it every time. Lancaster shot up and away, no good. Lancaster fights hustle, hustle. and hustles, gets the basketball, throws it back inside, and there's a fight for it, and there's a bunch of players going for it, and it looks like we have a a Nashville Christian player that got sandwiched right in the middle of a couple of Yellow Jackets holding her shoulder. And I tell you, one is that's had some shoulder injury. That's um, that's not a lot of fun to, to grimace on and hold that shoulder. Let's just hope that she's got a little stinger there and it's nothing major. Looks like it got her right on that bone on top of the shoulder. That can be painful. Yellow Jackets called the timeout. Got possession of the ball. Lancaster tossed it back inside and they picked it up. The Nashville Christian coach is asking, why isn't there a foul? All the players were equally going for the basketball in that possession. I didn't really see an advantage gained by either team on that one. And we try to be as this Serving game has been can. physical in that particular instance. Um, if there was going to be a foul, it was it was NCS, uh, National Christian School, instigating the contact on that one. I'm not saying Fairview hasn't had their share, but in that particular instance, if there was a foul called, it was National Christian players who were coming in. I agree with that 100%. And she was definitely hustling after it. And let's just hope that she's able to come into the game. We don't want to see any anyone injured. Last several three-point shots that Nashville Christian has attempted. Fairview's been there, they've been up under them, and they've all come up short, won't even hit the side of the backboard. 4.56, 4.58 left here, I guess, in the game. 37-31 Yellow Jackets after an extended timeout. Full timeout taken that time. There's been two fouls against the Yellow Jackets, three fouls against Nashville Christian. There's only one player that has more than two fouls, and that is on uh, Nashville Christians, number 21, who was just injured on the play. 
Allison Nutt takes a three after the inbounds pass, and it's good. Six points, Lee turns to nine with one shot. Big shot, she had a chance to square up, set her feet, knock it down for three. That was fearless. Face the basket, put it up and in. At the time, Lancaster trying to get her defensive position is, um, I guess, fouled by Nashville Christian. So turnover Nashville Christian, that's going to be the fourth foul on them. The Nashville Christian coach not real happy with the outcome tonight as far as the fouls are concerned. He feels like his team is getting beat up a little bit. But um, quite frankly, the Yellow Jackets have played extremely hard. 40-31, 4.20 left there in the basketball game. Yellow Jackets with a nine-point lead. Running the baseline. It's number 10 for Nashville Christian. That's Dotson. Dotson gets the ball down low. Hewland. Hewland puts it up, and she's fouled. She's going to go to the line for two shots. Nashville Christian runs a little bit of a a little bit of a front court weave to break the uh, to break Hewlin loose to get down low for a shot of the layup. Good play for Nashville Christian that time. Dotson for Nashville Christian was trying to run the baseline, get open for a three. Got out there, they weren't able to find her. When she did get the ball, she was able to get a good bounce pass down low to Hewlin, who's at the line for two. First toss, no good. Second toss, a lot more arch on it. Looked really pretty. Nothing but the bottom of the sack on that one. Purvis is going to come back into the game this time, replacing Lancaster. Yellow Jackets with an eight-point lead, four minutes left in the basketball game, and the basketball in their possession. Mullen running the point, gets the ball out to Purvis. Purvis to the top of the key, Grishaber looking to bounce the ball down low to Nutt. Not able to get it there. Out top to King, back with a swing pass over to Mullen. Top of the key, Nutt. Drives the lane, doesn't have anything, pulls it back out. Looks over to the left side, Grishaber. Grishaber also looking down low, not having anything. Drives the lane, inside the free throw lane, and the ball is blocked away that time by Nashville Christian. Nashville Christian with the takeaway after the block. Nice block that time by number 52, Chambliss. Martin, who's been on fire from three, gets the ball over to the left side for Hewlin for three, and it's good. Back to a five-point game. This game is going to be a nail-biter down to the end, Tim. Spacing, Fairview doesn't get out there. They don't con contest that three-point shot. And we've seen this second half when they don't contest it. Nashville Christian is drained. Martin's done a heck of a job running the ball club for Nashville Christian. Outside to King. Three-point line, gets the ball to Nutt. She takes one dribble, and they're saying she took two. Turnover, Yellow Jackets, three minutes left in the ball game. Fairview needs to get back and, and put Allison Nutt down on the block. She's been down there a couple times, been open. She hasn't got the ball, and then she's come back outside. Need to get her back down on the block where she can use her skills inside for some baskets for the Jets. Five-point game, three-point basket up and off the glass, and it's good. I don't think Hewlin called that one, but it was nothing but the sack. Back-to-back -back possessions, Hewlin gets six points. Cuts the lead from eight to two, and with those two shots, Taylor King looks to drive. Covered up by Stewart, gets the ball to Grishaver. Grishaver with a lazy tough pass. bounce pass. Got lucky to get away with that. Nutt ends up with it on the left side. Gets the ball on the left block. Down, down low, up right hand off the glass. Good four point basketball game. This is again, Tim, as we said, going to go to the wire. Ball wow. knocked out of bounds by the Yellow Jackets Mullins. Hustle play. If I'm fair of you each time down, I have Allison Nutt running the triangle on the blocks from one side to the other, flash in the middle. Stewart to throw the ball inbounds, and that was darn near and over and back on the inbounds play, but the possession was only gained on the backcourt. Martin again, who's played a heck of a ball game for Nashville Christian, under two minutes, controlling the basketball, pushes it down low, and I believe she's going to be fouled by the, by the Yellow Jackets, number 32, Allison Nutt. Oh, actually, they're going to call it on Christiana Purvis, and that's going to be her first foul. It's a break for the Yellow Jackets. That would have been three on Nutt. Ball in low, picked up by Chambliss. Chambliss loses it, picked up by the Yellow Jackets, number 22, Chelsea Grishaber, gets the ball out to number 20. And, yes, that's Mullins with the basketball.
King has it, gets it down low to Purvis. Purvis takes one dribble, drives, puts the shot up, bounces a couple times, no good. Ball tapped out by Chamless to the Fairview Yellow Jacket player, and that's Chelsea Grishaber, and puts it in, in the sack. 136 left, up by six. Big conversion, big conversion. Three possession game, two possession game. That's a big conversion. They've got to knock down two threes. We're making three possessions come down. This has been a, Tim, as you and I have seen, a heck of a game from one end to the other. Defense, offense, both players going nuts. One thirty-six left here. Yellow Jackets leading by six. And let's give kudos again to the team that's bringing this game to you. Bob King heads a great group of young men and women. Martin Binkley, McLaren Jones, Sean Banks, Matt Thompson, Ian Wachina, Ivan Wachina, Steven Anderson, Ryan Richards, Allie Beard, and J.J. Hughes. I'm back. I just have a little bit of equipment difficulty. But I'm back. Yeah, we lost him there for a minute. He's hard to lose, but we lost him there for a minute. Breaking the huddle, both teams. Coming back on the floor, it's going to be Nashville Christian basketball with the ability to run the baseline after the make that time by Grishaber. Grishaber was the benefit, uh, was the got the benefit of getting the ball knocked right to her by Chambliss. Yellow Jacket's gonna force the Eagles to use a little time getting the ball to half court. And then they're gonna pick her up man to man. Stewart with the basketball. Gets the ball out to Hewlin. Hewlin almost takes a walk with it. Dribbles the basketball, almost loses control, gets it over to number 10 for the Eagles. And timeout this time call by Nashville Christian. The coach for Nashville Christian realized that there was not an opportunity of anything good to happen, so he quickly called a 30-second timeout. Carson Mullins playing very good positional defense. She's just got to keep those hands out. She's getting that hand a little bit close to the back, and you don't want to give him that cheap little foul, put him at the line with that clock stop. She's got to keep those hands away. They're all moving their feet really well on that Fairview defensive side. Forty-four, thirty-eight, one fourteen left. Ball in the possession of the Eagles. You got to fear the Eagles are going to shoot up a three-pointer here pretty soon. And their three-point guns has been Hewlin, number twenty-five, and number double zero, Martin. One of their three-point guns is on the bench, injured her shoulder going after a loose ball earlier in the game. Passing outside to Hewlin for three, and it's good. Okay, she earned that one. Carson that's, Mullins was all over her on defense. That's three of the last four attempts that she's made that's been good. 44-41. That's going to be the fifth foul called against Nashville Christian. It's going to be two more before the Yellow Jackets are in the bonus. Nashville Christian playing tough defense, and they almost knocked the ball out of bounds. And we got a jump ball. Jump ball is going to be the possession of the Yellow Jackets. That's good. That gives them ten more seconds to get the ball. Across half court. Got a lot of folks hollering at this point, trying to sort things out. The Yellow Jackets with the basketball on the alternate possession. Next jump ball will go to the Eagles. We've got a foul this time going to be against Number 10 of Nashville Christian. That's going to be foul number six. Next foul, the Yellow Jackets will go to the line for a one plus one. Danny Moore is going to get the inbounds pass, and they try to foul her. They do finally foul her as Martin steps up and gets the foul, and that's going to put Danny Moore at the line for a one plus one. Coach has to have his most experienced player Passing the ball inbounds. The downside of that is it's Allison Nutt. You want her getting the ball in, in, inbounds and getting the foul going to the line. Absolutely. Danny Moore, two of four from the free throw line tonight. First shot up and rolls out no good. Chambliss with the rebound. Three-point game. One 
basket away from a tie score is Nashville Christian. Martin dribbling the ball, switching hands in the spin room in the backcourt. Opportunity for a trap. Trying to get the ball to Hewlin. Hewlin gets the ball, but she's fouled. But that's okay. The Yellow Jackets have three fouls to give. Actually, two fouls to give before it puts them at the line. 45 seconds left with a three-point lead. You've got to like the position the homesteading Yellow Jackets are in. Play good defense. That's, that's over almost back. over and back again. That's, that's twice that we've seen Nashville Christian with that same exact play. They get the ball out to number 10. Doesn't have anything. Gets the ball down low. Chambliss off the glass. No good. Picked up by Nashville Christian. Knocked out of bounds by Danny Moore. It's going to be 33.4 seconds away from good the victory at the play. Yellow Jackets gym there. here. She doesn't get there. Hewlin's got a layup. Danny Moore got inside, knocked the ball out of bounds. Nashville Christian still has a chance, Tim. Fear of you missing Rosalind Mosley out there right now. She's their point guard. She's the leader. She'd be one getting bringing the ball up to court this time of game. Checking in for the Yellow Jackets. It's going to be number 34, Taylor King. Coming out, I believe, is going to be number 10, Danny Moore, if we can see things correctly. Let's set the stage for you here. 33.4 seconds left. The Yellow Jackets can give a foul so they can make sure that a shot doesn't get put up. You don't want to foul on a three, definitely, but you can foul and not do any harm at this point. You also get into the strategy session, three-point game. Do you allow them to take a three-point shot or you foul them and put them at the line? You know, I, one of the things, Fairview's got a couple fouls to give, but they also have to play their ahead. They need to make Nashville Christian work for the shot, no free looks. If someone breaks for the basket, then you foul them and put them at the line. Nothing cheap. Hewlin to throw the inbounds pass, and usually the inbounds thrower gets the ball back for a quick three. That's not going to happen here. Oh, off her foot. Should be ball fair dribbled. to you ball. Ooh. Ball dribbled off Nashville Christian, out of bounds. They're going to give Nashville Christian the ball back. They're going to say Mullins knocked it out of bounds. It's going to be a corner throw in this time with the tall Taylor King guarding Hewlin. Hewlin with a bounce pass inside, taken down low, trying to get the ball to Chambliss. Kick ball against the Yellow Jackets. Nashville Christian will throw it on the baseline again. We'll try to throw the ball back in bounds under the basket. Left side of the basket. We'll get the ball out to Hewlin. Hewlin gets a little space, gets the Short. shot up. It's no good. She gets her own rebound off the top of the backboard. One step drop move and gets the ball in the basket. It's a one point basketball game. It's, the top of the it's a hard out of foul bounds. this time against Martin. She fouls Purvis with a basketball. Purvis will go to the line with a chance to stretch it back out to three points. It's 44 43. It's been a very good comeback by Nashville Christian in the second half of this basketball game. Is the top of the backboard out of bounds? Is the top of the backboard out of bounds? I thought it was. Purvis with a shot. Sack. It's good. Two-point basketball game. 15.4 seconds left. Purvis with a second attempt after making the first of the one and one Toss up. Arch. Sack. Three-point basketball game. 46-43. Got something going on here with the clock, looking at the opportunity. Nashville Christian will have a chance to come down and take a shot to tie the basketball game. The Yellow Jackets again, 10 with one foul to give. And you think that they try to give that with about five or six seconds left. They try to force the ball inbounds, picked up by Taylor King. Out to Purvis, Purvis fouled again. It's going to be the foul number nine. Purvis will go back to the line where she was money just moments ago. 12.2 seconds left, three-point game, one possession. We can have it two in just a shot away. Purvis gets the basketball. A couple of dribbles, eyes the basket, puts it up, and it's in the bottom of money. the sack. Two-possession game. Four-point basketball game. Purvis has been money, money, money. Take it to the bank because that check has been cashed. That's for Christian being guarded full court, and you got to love this. And they try to force the ball back in bounds. Hewlin picks it up. Ten seconds left. 
Good screen in the backcourt. Five seconds left and the foul Good on foul. the Yellow Jackets. That is a perfect foul right there. They had one to give. So 6.3 seconds left, five point game. It's gonna be a tough uphill climb by Nashville Christian. Fairview has to know if they go to the basket and they score, the clock doesn't stop, they can stay out of bounds. Taylor King picks it off again. It's gonna be the ball game. Three seconds left. Nashville Christian, 43. The homestanding Fairview High School Yellow Jackets, 48. And we'd like to thank, again, the television crew for bringing us this game. Martin Binkley, McLaren Jones, Sean Franks, Matt Thompson, Ian and Ivan Wuchina, Steven Anderson, Ryan Richards, Ali Beard, and J.J. Hughes. Kevin Anderson, Tim French had the pleasure of watching two good women basketball teams play hard and, and the Yellow Jackets coming out on top. Fans got their money's worth that time, Kevin. Absolutely. We'll be back here in just a moment for the guys, Fairview High School Yellow Jacket men against the Nashville Christian Eagles.